On this week's Community Connection, the Illinois chapter of the Lupus Foundation of America searches for a cure. Mundelein High School show choirs sing and dance their way to the top. We'll see how to start the day in a healthy way. Plus, it's time to get back to the gym. All this and much more next on Community Connection. Nutrition and staying in shape go hand in hand. Let's head to World of Fitness for a few tips on getting in shape and sticking with it. My name is Ernie from the World of Fitness and I'm here today to show you some really great exercises that you can use at your fitness center or that you can do at home. Today we're gonna move into dumbbell free weights. I like dumbbell movements because each arm has to work independently. The central nervous system doesn't have to split the signal. Today, Mike Talbot, who's one of our male members, is going to uh, perform the exercise along with me for you. Today, we're going to be working incline dumbbell presses. We're going to be working around the upper pectoral, around the clavicle, and we're going to use dumbbells to do that. We're going to start out with a 45 degree bench. Mike is going to grab the two dumbbells. Going to sit down and sit back. Plant his feet firmly on the ground. Bring each dumbbell up to his shoulders. And he's going to come up following his chin straight up and bringing the dumbbells together. And back down slowly. And once again, it's very important to let the muscle do the work and not jerk the movement. Mind-muscle coordination is very important. One of the things that Mike is concentrating on right now is he's pretending there's a potato chip in between his two chest muscles. And as he's coming up with the dumbbells, he's crushing the potato chip. That is putting your mind into the muscle. We're gonna show you the most popular exercise in a fitness center. We're gonna work the biceps. We're gonna do seated, alternating dumbbell curls. But first, I wanna show you two things that people do wrong in this exercise. Mike? The first mistake is people move the whole arm. The second mistake is that they don't go all the way down. On this exercise here, the upper arm has to be still and just the forearm is moving. And you wanna let the weight down all the way so you get a full range of motion. Now we're gonna show you the proper technique. Mike is seated. His back is on a 90 degrees. He's gonna keep the upper arms perfectly still and he's just gonna move the forearm up towards his deltoid and he's gonna come all the way down. We wanna get a full range of motion. Where Mike is gonna feel the tension is in the bicep area. And what'll happen when you first start to do these, the next day, you're gonna be real sore right here, okay? That's normal. Continue with your scheduled workout. Three sets of 10 with each arm is perfect. We're gonna move into the midsection. And we're gonna look at two variations of the crunchy for the upper abdominals and the lower abdominals. There's also some do's and don'ts. So Carolyn, let's lay back. Let's put your thighs up, cross your ankles. You're gonna put your hands to the sides of your ears. You do not wanna lock the hands behind your head because you don't wanna pull on the vertebrae. And this is a, a short movement. Your shoulder blades barely come up off the mat. And you come, 
Come up towards your knees and down. Up, down. It's about a six inch movement. It's crunching the abdominal muscles and you're gonna feel that in the upper abdominals right below your chest. This is one of the most effective abdominal exercises that you can do to build those muscles in your abdominal area. Now we're gonna show you variation number two. We're gonna take the stimulus and we're gonna move it down to the lower abdominals. You can do this at home. You just need to clear out some furniture and find yourself a nice sturdy wall. So Carolyn, let's get your legs up. Let's scoot your butt in and get the legs on a 90 degree. Come up a little bit more, there you go. So legs up, hands to the side of your head. Same type of crunchy movement. It's about a six inch movement for lower back, stays on the ground. And what she's doing by having her legs up the wall like this, it's concentrating on the lower abdominals now. We hit the upper abdominals, now we're bringing it lower. And as you continue to do these, you'll begin to feel a burn in your stomach. You wanna keep going, don't stop when it starts to burn. You wanna go four, five, six repetitions past that. Very safe movement, and once again, if you look at her hands, they're not interlocked behind her neck. We don't wanna be pulling on the vertebrae. You wanna cup your hands and put them to the sides of your ears. Very short range of motion, it's a crunch. Thanks for joining us today. I hope that you were encouraged. I hope that you learned some really good techniques. And remember, as my buddy Arnold would say, you can do it. Just stay consistent and get started. Great tips for staying in shape. Well, that's all the time we have on this edition of Community Connection. If you'd like to learn more about any of the stories you saw here today, log on to our website at cn100.tv and send us any story ideas you may have. As always, thanks for watching. I'm Cindy Bravos. We'll see you next time.